Hello you guys, I hope you're having a great week. My name is Joni and this is my channel Joni Loves. Please subscribe, that would be cool, and hit that little bell. So today what I'm going to chat to you about is my reaction to Paris Hilton's nighttime skincare routine. Harper's Bazaar is a great channel on YouTube and they're doing these celebrities go to bed with me skincare routines and I, I think they're great. They're full of interesting tips, interesting people, wacky tips and so on. So I want to tell you what I think about Paris Hilton and I do hope that you get some tips from it. Mm -hmm, I do. So we'll go through it. So let's have a peep. It's time to go to bed with me. That's hot. So this is my skincare routine and it's between 10 to 12 steps. I've been taking care of my skin and obsessed with skincare ever since I was seven years old. My mom taught me everything I know. So after I put my hair back, I use my cleanser, which is the Paris Hilton Pro DNA Dual Action Cleansing Gel. This is my favorite cleanser. I love the consistency and it has glitter in it. Well, not glitter, it's actually diamond dust and caviar. It's always good to massage the product into your skin. Always feels great after a long day of shooting just to get all your makeup off. And this cleanser just works so well, you don't even have to use that much. So I always like using just a towel and wiping everything off. And then I take my little cotton swab and just make sure I get all of the makeup off. So my mm, so let's start with here. She's been looking after her skin since she was seven. Amazing. That is a really she's got a great mum, hasn't she doing that? That's fantastic. I have to say she's looking really good. I do. Um and this first cleanse art that she's using is her own brand, um, Paris Hilton's Pro DNA, great name. And I have to say, what I do like about her brand, and I'm going to give it a big clap, a round of applause for this Paris, is that it's cruelty free. Always a good point that sits with me, yeah. And she's done one cleanse and her eye makeup's still on, I love that, <laughs> isn't it great? Come on now, why are the celebs, some of them, frightened to take their eye makeup off on camera? I've done it, after all. <laughs> so I think it's funny she looks as if she's still got her lip her lippy on as well her nude lip and her eyes but she looks great and she looks great for her age I don't think I think that's she's young and I, I think she looks fantastic I do I do she's not she doesn't look any different than she has done for you know for years so I think she still looks lovely and fresh so regarding the pro DNA cruelty free dual action cleansing gel she said there it has diamond dust in it and it hasn't so one of her other products, so she's got a little bit mixed up, Paris. She's got a little bit mixed up there. There's no diamond dust in that, and we'll come to that later. What I do like about it is no parabens. You know, I do like this no parabens, and that's another chat for you, but parabens to me, I would always be steering clear of them. It's got caviar lime, only you, Paris. Come on, caviar lime. What you really need to know is that it's an AHA, and that for me, Alpha hydroxy acids help to slow off dead skin cells off. Who doesn't love an AHA? And that's what caviar is. So that, that's great. That's a really great ingredient. And that's going to take off the dead skin, make her skin look smoother and brighter. So that's a plus. Um, she's also got bromelain in it, sourced from the juice of pineapples. And they're anti-inflammatory. And they also reveal bright skin. That's great. And aplaminos, which is great. These apple amino acids really, again, just freshen skin up and, you know, but they also protect the skin barrier. But it really does help um, when it's massaged into the skin. And I saw her doing that. I thought she was very light handed. And I, I like that. I like the fact that she was quite light with that. So there's a few things in this, but um, yeah, I do like it. It's got glycine in it. Um, it's got white tea in it, cucumber, all the things that are antioxidants and anti-inflammatory and hydrators. So this is a good cleanser. I do like it. It's a gel cleanser. However, only thing is, would this take off the makeup again? And she's not double cleansed. I did like that she used a face cloth. Um, I did like that. I do. I wasn't sure why she used the face cloth to take the cleanser off. And then she went in with a cotton pad. Who knows? Um, but I think a double cleanse would have been best here. I do. I do. But just saying, but nice cleanser. Do like it. 
Next step is my eye cream. And this is another one of my products. I love this eye cream because it immediately depuffs. I always rub it just around my eyes. It's good just to get around your whole eye area going in this motion. And what I love about this is I wanted to develop something that was basically just makes it look like, like a Photoshop look. So anytime you're going out at night or going to bed at night, it gives you that vibe. And then I have this. Let's go to that bit there. So the eye cream, it's a lift and firm eye cream. Again, it's her own product. Uh huh. I, I like that she put it on with the ring finger very gently. I like the, the fact that she tapped it in. I do like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's got this geo matrix in it and this is the when the BS for me starts a little bit, I have to say this, um, it's uh, genome matrix, this potent and ultra purified enzyme derived from a strain of ancient marine microalgae is proven to halt premature aging by promoting skin's natural process of DNA maintenance. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I love these things. I do, I do. Now, this is a bit like creme de la mer. That's also got a, a plankton in it. Um, and I think Elemis, yes, it has pro-collagen cream and all these stories about um, what microalgae does. And, you know, it really does. Um, it's anti-aging, really anti-aging, right? And that's what they believe it has. So that's fine. I don't think it's clinically proven. I have to say there's no research showing that plankton has any benefit for the skin, but um, it has got moisture binding qualities in it. So I quite like that because it's hydrating, definitely. The diamond powder, um, yes, settles into the wrinkles and the basically the diamond powder is going to reflect the light. So a bit like a highlighter, I think, that kind of idea under the light, but under the, under the eye, but why would you want that going to bed? I'm not really sure <laughs> that you would want Depends who's in the bed, I suppose. Oh <laughs> dear, don't go there, Joni. So diamond powder, um, reflecting the light. My heart, I can see why that would be good. I do, I do. Um, it's also got Persian silk tree extract. I love this Persian silk tree extract. I mean, for goodness sake, it's Paris Hilton diamond powder geomatrix and Persian silk tree extract. What else can you expect from this woman, really? But Persian silk tree extract eliminates crow's feet and puffiness, and that's true. Aloe vera, always a soother, and I do love aloe vera in, in skincare, I do. Evening primrose, yeah, fights wrinkles, it's supposed to. Um, so they say chamomile, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So this really, this eye cream is an antioxidant type of eye cream, and that is good. That is good, because it's going to really help fight the free radicals and that's what we don't want to encourage so no i would give that a thumbs up but it, i'm going to just tell you this the, the cleanser was really good value at 25 quid mm -hmm, good value the eye cream is 69 pound for 15 mils oh i wish i had a 15 mil to show you but it's not very much <laughs> 15 mils for 60 nine quid mm -hmm. yes but it's Paris Hilton's own make so what can we expect and it will last a long time because you only need a tiny amount so she's using now um, this eye massager and I've not seen this one before so let's have a wee watch at this it's by Foreo and it really just gets the product in so it's good to always do this for lymphatic drainage and then you pull it down the side of your face and down your neck So I do this every morning and every night before bed and it just really gets the product in as much as possible. My next step. Wow, so quickly, <laughs> products only absorb into skin. You have to know this. All these um, beauty tools that say they're going to push the product in, no, they won't push the product in. It's all to do with the formulation of the product, 100%. If the formulation is right, and it's been made right, it will go into the skin, okay? But that's a cosmetic chemist that will be making sure the formulation is correct. The eye massager won't put the product into the skin. I'm so happy though that she put the eye cream on because it's a hydrating one um, before she started using it because you need to have some slip when you're using any beauty tools. So 
I've got nothing against that. Um, it mimics fingertips. I quite like that. No, I think it's good. And she knows about lymphatic drainage. So that'll take away puffiness. I, I quite believe that. Yep. Use it night and morning. Yep. Nice tool to use. Especially if you're prone or you have late nights, which I'm sure Paris has a couple. <laughs> so, no, I think it's okay. The only thing I would say, I we, we've seen it here, it's 119 bucks. Mm -hmm, 119. Mm. Not a cheap little tool, because it didn't look like much, did it? It didn't look like much to me. It looked as if it was battery operated and no, and going down onto her neck. Mm. But anyway, I did quite like it. I did quite like it. Yes, I'll say that, but it doesn't put the product into the skin. It's a formulation that does that. It is Dr. Barbara Sturm Anti-Pollution Drops. I love these. Barbara is one of my friends, so... I only use use my skincare line, but her skincare line is amazing as well. So I love using this. And the pollution drops are great, especially in Los Angeles with all the pollution. It's important just to make sure that your skin stays perfect and pollution free. My next step is oxygen. Wow. So did you see her neck? I'm going to... I've still got a bit of the hay fever going on, the medium pollen today. I checked it because I thought, oh, I think it's a hay fever a little bit still. Anyway, what I thought was interesting was that she did put it on her neck, which I thought was great. Mm -hmm. So I'm always saying this, treat this all the same way. Yes, treat this from here upwards. Don't just treat the face, treat the whole area. Uh -huh. And this is a serum. I quite like the name anti-pollution because... We're getting a lot of that now off of everything. Um, and it's Dr. Barbara Sturm, which is her friend. So that's quite nice. She's given a hello to her pal. Um, this is 30 mils. Have I got something here that's 30 mils? 30 mils, 110 pounds. Uh-huh, for those drops, 110 pounds. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put that out there. It's not cruelty-free, Barbara Sturm. You need to sort that out. You do. You have a word with her Paris. Have a word with your pal. Yes. Um, I've got to say, I love Paris's um, dressing gown, that leopard skin look. I'm going to find out where she got that because that is lovely. That's really nice. Probably her own make as well. She probably has a clothesline. I'm sure she has. So what is in this um, anti-pollution drops? Um, it says here, uh, the second ingredient, first ingredient is water, which is quite usual. Second ingredient, it says Bain, B-E-A-I-N-E. -E. Now, I checked this on several websites. I did, I did, I promise, I did. And there's no such ingredient. Bain, I did check it, I checked it and checked it. But I think it must be betaine. I think it must be betaine. And there's a T missing because it was sold in a few places, but I think they've got the wrong spelling. Can you believe that? Anyway, if it is betaine, it's a hydration. It gives hydration, which is great. And then it's got um, Portulaca elaracea ferment extract, which is skin soothing properties and a potent antioxidant. Antioxidant, that's what these are. Great. And that's what pollution is. So I'm, I'm thinking this is quite good, yeah. And obviously an old favourite of mine, sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronic acid. Uh-huh. Humectant. Yep, I'm really liking that. And I think it's I think it's pretty good. I do think it's pretty good. Is it worth £110? Well, we won't know till we all try it. <laughs> but cruel, not cruelty free. Something has to be done there. Okay, so she's put all her serum on. So we've had the cleanser. Cleanse the skin once. Mm -hmm. Eye cream on. Do it massage. Uh -huh. And then we've done the pollution drops. Okay. Um, serum by Nice Skin Beverly Hills. It was actually made by my facialist, Angela Nice, who I've been going to for the past 15 years. I really owe it to her just for doing oxygen facials and red light therapy and, you know, being able to be natural. Because I think that's really important. As a little girl from like seven to being a teenager before I saw a facialist, all I really knew about were eye creams and serums and neck creams and face creams and everything like that. But then after seeing my facialist, I became like the scientist. I learned even more about red lights and microcurrent technology. And I bought this whole Neurotrist system, which is 
amazing with wands and just basically has electric currents that build collagen and keep your skin just looking lit. This is another one of my products. This is actually my secret weapon. It's the Pro DNA Advanced Recovery Serum. So let's go back. She used, well, I think a big shout out to her facialist. I love it when they mention that they've been going to someone who's brought out products. I really do. Yeah, I do. I think that's great that she's mentioned her and she's been going to her for 15 years. That is one good facialist. I might like to go there myself, but I would. I would like to try her. So um, nice skin Beverly Hills oxygen serum. I couldn't find any info, so I don't know about the ingredients, but I think it may have been made specially for Paris. Not sure, but okay. So she's got one serum, the anti-pollution, then the oxygen serum, and now she's going to go on to her next serum. So that's a lot of serums. It is. However, I do like the fact that she gave a shout out to her esthetician. Well done, Paris. Not enough of the celebs say that. Okay, I think that was great that she did that. And you know, this is something that you all need to do. I always call it your team. Who's going to look after you? Have you got a personal trainer or have you got a gym that you go to? Or have you got a room in your house that is your gym or maybe the garden? But part of your team of looking after yourself. And I do think an esthetician should be one of your team. Okay, one of the team to look after you. So it's good to find that person out there. And you may have to go through a few before you get the person that really knows what they're talking about. However, I thought it was funny that she said her esthetician made her a scientist. Well, do you know, I think that's great in a way because it's obviously her esthetician has been training her and teaching her all about ingredients and what works and treatments that work. Um, machines that work I think that's brilliant and that is what a good esthetician does it is so next one we're doing is the advanced recovery serum mm -hmm. I worked with scientists to create this product and it's from microalgae from the sea and I love the packaging because it keeps it again airtight and this is literally like the fountain of youth so I just rub it in so what's amazing about this formula is that it repairs your DNA cells and it also illuminates your skin, makes it youthful, tightens it, and basically just makes your skin glow. The next step is another product by Angela Nice. It is the first. Right, so the serum all dehydration. It's a very good hydrator. Um, it's got blue lotus flower extract, which is a natural moisturizer. Yep, and it's got hyaluronic acid. Great, I do like that. Um, it's got her genome matrix in it, this genome matrix, which is the algae. And so it really is an anti-aging, a good, really a good, a nice serum it is. But what I did like about that one is it's got peptides in it. Yeah, and this is the first, and she's not mentioned it's got peptides in it, which I think is great. But the two peptides that's in it, palmitoyl dipeptide 5 and tripeptide 5, stimulate collagen production. They do. So this is, I quite like, maybe this is going to be, yeah, probably is going to be my favourite serum that she's using, her own one, which is Pro DNA Advanced Recovery Serum. I do like that. I do. Mm -hmm. And I like the ingredients in it. So here we go back on. She's now going to chat about her esthetician, Angela Nice. What a great name that is. Angela Nice, esthetician. I do like it. Mm -hmm. I do. Firming neck cream, which I love using with my cream as well. So I put this one on first, it's all over the neck. It's important to actually go behind your neck as well, which is a tip that I learned just from having facials and being on set all the time. So it's important to not only take care of the, the face, your neck, and your chest. So it's another good beauty tip. After the neck cream, I use... Right, neck creams, what's my thoughts on neck creams? Well, this is, again, I can't see what ingredients are in this. Um, do we need a neck cream? If you've got a really good uh, serum or a couple of serums, which she's got three serums on, I'm not sure that you would need the neck cream because there must be enough in that, especially the advanced recovery one with the peptides in it to stimulate the collagen in the neck. God, what a neck she has got. Is she, has she not got the most beautiful neck you have ever seen? 
oh my goodness this swan neck that is oh my goodness it looks good i really do like and i like the fact that she came down onto as i call it the decolleté i do like that that she came down here and she's treating that area so that's a 10 out of 10 paris i do like that so i like how she but i don't know that you need to go to the expense of a separate night cream if you're using those things before I, i'm just saying right but you know the behind the neck treating behind the neck i think I would never think that because if you've got long hair like me, that you know the your hair is protecting it from the environment a bit. It is, and from UV. So if you've got short hair, I can understand going behind and treating behind the neck. I can. I, I'm not sure that we all we all need to think about putting all our serums around here. I don't know, or neck creams around here. Nothing wrong with it if you, especially if you wear your hair up in a ponytail or you have short hair. I would say it's a plus. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. it's my Paris Hilton face and decolletage cream, and what I love about this as well is that it is air. And you put that on top of the neck cream, chest, neck, and all over the face. I love this moisturizer. Just the scent of it is amazing. It's really moisturizing, it's quick absorbing. Basically, this feels very clean and fresh. So my next step is this mask. I love this. Right, okay, so the face and decolletage cream is 50 mils for 66 pounds. That's okay. Um, it's got the Genometrix. Well, there we go, the, this algae <laughs> in it again. And very like creme de la mer stuff, this I, I think it really is. It's going along that lines, that same lines. It's got Cadu Plum, which has got a very high source of vitamin C. So that's great. That's going to stimulate collagen. I did like how she came down and really did this area again. I do like that very much. Um, it's really antioxidants. This one's full of antioxidants and minerals, white truffle extract, anti-inflammatory and anti-aging. And this marine collagen, now it has got marine collagen in it. And I'm not one of these people that really truly believes that you can put collagen on top of your skin and it's gonna make collagen or really increase the collagen. I'm not sure that that really, I don't think it's a proven thing that I really don't. I can understand why people like it in a product. I can get it, yeah, and makes more, you know, it's absorbed into the skin and other types of collagen but you know you've got to stimulate the fibroblasts to make the collagen and there's certain things vitamin c is a known thing to do with that and also you know it's what you what you live like your lifestyle all of that and not taking sugar too much sugar anyway sugar can break the collagen up so there's a number of things but let's go back to this blue lotus flower again moisturizing and aloe vera which is soothing to the skin so quite a nice night cream or face and decolletage cream but she's put the neck cream on so we're talking about three serums a neck cream and then this on top <laughs> we are that's a lot isn't it <laughs> that is a lot of steps it is a lot of steps with a lot of different ingredients but it's Paris Hilton what can we expect what can we and she's got the money let's face it to buy all that I mean she owns a company for heaven's sake so why not why not why not for bed I love red light therapy, it really works. It helps build your collagen, and it's amazing, this product. I just got it when I was at Harrods in London, and I've been using it every night since. And then I have this big boy. Wow, I, red light therapy really does stimulate collagen. It does, it stimulates elastin cells. It wakens up the, the collagen to, it stimulates it to make, so it definitely is great. Red light therapy is great, but the mask that she had, the little one, 430 quid. <laughs> Dr. Dennis Gross is, you know, he's got his name to that. He's making a few quid out of that. He really is because I don't think they really work the small ones. They haven't got the energy output in them, the number of LEDs that you really need to really give that your skin that energy that it needs. So, but I love this. I absolutely, this next one, which obviously I can't travel with. <laughs> so when I was talking about how I'm a scientist and I have all these different 
gadgets. This is an amazing one. You're usually supposed to wear little eye covers because it, it's such a strong light. But this light is like the real one. I love having this as part of my skincare routine because it really just makes all the products go into your skin. I've had this for four years now and I love it. I really see a huge difference. This is the type that you would have for like a professional facialist office and that's where I found it. I said I need one for my house. So this is another step that I use when I feel like my lips. Wow, oh I love this, women I love her. So that professional LED one has got 1400 LEDs in it and that was is definitely contributing to that young face that we're seeing 100%. She's using nice products. Um, she's going regular to her esthetician, great. But that LED, that, that red light, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Red light penetrates the skin right down to the dermis layer where the collagen fibers lie. And it's brilliant for skin, it really is. It's like a healer, it stimulates skin. It's just so good red light you have to try if you haven't tried it you have to and it hydrates the skin the hydration level comes up so it's, it's fantastic if you've had um if you've been away on holiday whenever we can do that again and you've really dehydrated yourself or in the winter time when you've got the heating on and your skin's getting dehydrated all the time red light is fantastic for hydrating skin i would advise anyone to go i use i have used red light therapy on myself and on clients for I would say 25 is it maybe 30 <laughs> um, no 20 20 odd years yet and I'm telling you it does work it 100% works so and having that one and you know I'll just look at the price of that six and a half thousand pounds uh-huh well when the next time you get a little one in the lottery um <laughs> I would be getting that that is awesome awesome an awesome lamp to have. Yep, Paris, you've got it, girl. Need moisturizing, and it's called To Go Spa Coconut Lips, aka the Kisser Fixer. <laughs> this you're supposed to use for like 15 to 20 minutes. So I usually could wear that even under the mask. So just depending on, I have ones for your eyes and for the neck and for the face. So sometimes I'll put on the full face mask, but. Today, the lip one is something that I need because it's really hot outside. While I was developing my skincare I have to say, if you're going to have a red light therapy um, facial at an esthetician, a professional one done, they would not put anything that would cover your skin like that. They wouldn't put a, a mask, one of these masks that cover the skin, you know, taken out of a packet. They might, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that because they want the light to really get absorbed deep into the skin and they don't want anything to hamper that. I know that it's light therapy and it can penetrate things, but you would not put a mask on, you know, one of these masks, cloth masks, material masks onto the skin or that, that looks like as if it had some plastic in it actually. No, you wouldn't do that. You maybe put a nice rejuvenating cream mask on. Yeah, a cream mask on, I can see that. And, but you just, you would not put on, um, you would not put on anything else, uh, one of these material masks. The other thing I've got to keep going on about is all these little mobile things that are sold online, like the portable face thing, and you get portable IPL, they really are pretty much a waste of money. I'm going to say it and be honest with you. You know, these things have not got the power attached to them to really do a great job. They are making money for a lot of companies, they do. But you really have to get the proper professional machines that have the energy behind them to really work, the power behind them to work. So, you know, don't be thinking that mask is £430. Mm -hmm. No, don't be thinking that. Go along to an esthetician and get a proper treatment with the red light therapy and you will love it. And it wouldn't cost you £430. It wouldn't. Airline, I had to do a lot of research. So I basically learned everything there is to know about skincare. So I've adopted some really amazing habits of always using serums, always using eye cream. It's so important to always keep your skin hydrated. And if I was stuck on a deserted island, these are the two products that I could not live without. So right, well, let's go back. The Coconut Lips, I did love that name, um, to go 
to go spa coconut lips, aka the kisser fixer. <laughs> what a great marketing company's behind that. And it was only $15 for that. $15, that's okay, an okay price and worth a, worth a go, I would say. Um, she said that if you're on a desert island and she would take two things with her and, you know, she said serums, um, she would take her serum and her eye cream uh, and I get it, I get why she's saying that, but hey, you guys and gals out there, if you had two products to take, what would you take to a desert island Put it in the comments below. I'm dying to hear what you think about that. What I would take, what I would take, Desert Island, I would take a absolutely huge amount of sun cream. I would be taking the sun factor, uh -huh, the SPF, that would be number one. Number two, Desert Island, mm, I would be taking the biggest pair of sunglasses. I could go on about this more. Uh -huh, no, if you only allowed two things, two things for skincare would definitely be the sunscreen and massive big glasses so that I wouldn't get all lined and wrinkled down my eyes. Uh -huh. That's what I'd be thinking about. What would you take? What would you take to, uh, would you take serums? Would you take um, a mascara even? What would you take? Two things you're allowed. Two things. Yes. So the next step is my unicorn mist, which is rose water. I love my unicorn mist because it not only hydrates my skin, but it immediately uplifts my mood and just makes me feel happy and just the scent is so beautiful. It's the most beautiful rose water I've ever smelled and I use it all day long. It's perfect for Coachella, Burning Man, music festivals. I always take it and then I'll just walk through the crowd and start spraying people or at Burning Man I actually bring like a couple hundred bottles and I'll pass them out to people as playa gifts and people always love this and then during Burning Man, people will start coming up to me and saying, I need that unicorn mist, where is that spray? And then I always run out because the whole playa wants it. So this year, I think I need to bring 500 bottles. So that's my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some new things about skincare. And I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh, I love that woman. I do 200 bottles of her unicorn mist <laughs> to um, the festival. I do love that. How good would it be to um, be at one of those festivals and Paris Hilton comes by and gives you, gives you a spray and says, here's a bottle of my unicorn mist. I would love that. I would, I would, I would. I'm, I'm there. I can picture it, Paris. I can picture it. What do I think about these rose water sprays? Because I, someone was messaging me about one the other day as well and it's nice smelly water <laughs> is that, am I okay to say that am I okay to say that I'm thinking um yeah I do like a spray if I'm feeling you know and I quite like spraying myself with some mist I, I do think that's nice I do think it's nice if you're hot or whatever you've been doing and you do it it's a high it's hydrating but does it do really anything for your skin no <laughs> No, even the rose water, even that lovely rose water. But the only thing is, I'm just going to say it is perfumed. Mm, but maybe that's why it smells nice. And after all, she seems to love the perfume of it. So, hey, go for it. But I, I'm going to say it's $29 for this. <laughs> $29 for a nice smelly rose water. Mm -hmm. Well, she can afford it, can't she? But I would tell you, it doesn't do a lot for skin. <sighs> but makes you feel good. Perhaps you like to smell, makes her feel good. Uh -huh. A bit of that going on. Oh, I feel good, I feel good. So I hope that was fun for you. I thought she was really good and gentle with her skin. I quite liked the way that she put products on. I do, because she was gentle and, you know, she wasn't going too at it. There's a couple of things missing. At, you know, her age... I'm just saying we should be thinking about definitely a retinol for night time. She didn't have any lines. I don't know if she's had work done. No idea. She looked great. She looks brilliant. Let's face it. Uh -huh. Paris Hilton, you've still got it, girl. you still got it. So, you know, good on her. Good on her. Some nice ingredients there. Yeah, some nice ingredients. So I think that was a really good one to do. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about your skin, you know, you can put them in the comments below or you can email me at info at jlformulations.com and I'll help you if I can. I will try my best. I hope you have a really good week and I hope 
that you take care and you're staying healthy. So take care. Have a great week. Bye for now. Bye.